I run an FPS like Battlefield 1 for the first time. The introduction shows up, no menu, I'm on control, and I start moving the character. But then something is wrong. We're surrounded! I have to pause, go to the menus, and switch the Y on the mouse. This is a story of the past, because now I switch. First first person shooters in the 90s had the Y inverted by default. It wasn't even called inverted because it was already inverted. If you're playing inverted and you're okay with it, I'm not that kind of guy that says this is better, that's wrong, that's right. I just, whatever it works for you, that's okay. So if I were used to that from the beginning, why did I switch? The reason is that it felt weird to do diagonal sometimes. No issues with left to right, up, down, down, up. The problem was diagonals. The second reason has to do about switching from console to PC. I've been playing for so long on console, then when switching to PC, then I, ha I found it harder. It made less sense than when I was just playing on console all the time. My brain was kind of messed up with the fact that you point and click with your mouse on your desktop, but when playing, the vertical movement goes the opposite way. So that was kind of the issue that I didn't find on console, because on console you never have to point and click the same way, so... It was just this difference that made me think, okay, maybe I should just forget about the vertical inverted. So you might be asking, why do I care? Like, okay, congratulations, but maybe you also want to switch, but you don't know how, because if you just play a game and switch the inverted to normal, then it's kind of hard to get used to it, because in a game, uh, you have to be aware of multiple things at the same time, that it's just frustrating. After failing miserably at just switching it on Battlefield 1 and trying to play the game like that, I started looking at some websites that just flash websites or HTML websites that have JavaScript like point and click. The only problem with these websites is that you don't have camera movement. You're just pointing and clicking and that's kind of okay at the beginning, but at some point you just realize that you need something that feels more like a game, but you can freely move around. The second thing I did is uh, connect to empty servers on Battlefield 1, uh, where you can just play there because there's nobody else. Like it's, it's waiting, the server is waiting for other people to join and you're just there. Uh, on your own and you can shoot. So after playing around with Battlefield 1 a little bit on empty servers, I just tried to search something else and that's when I found Aim Hero. And just to be clear, this is just my opinion. I just found this game. I don't know the developers or anyone. I just went on Steam and found it. So this is just my honest opinion and how I switch. With Aim Hero, I could freely test and improve my aiming and get better at it. Actually, I feel much better now that I switch after playing with Aim Hero and just getting used to that than ever before on PC at least. And it's thanks to Aim Hero because in a way you can just uh, concentrate into getting better at aiming instead of having to concentrate on so many things you you do when you're playing a game. In my opinion, Aim Hero is a cheap investment that allows you to improve your aiming and if you want to, you can also switch like I did uh, the vertical, um, vertical, you know, the vertical. But one negative thing about the game is that sometimes can get stressful because there's a lot of things going on on the screen. You have to point and click super fast sometimes in some modes. Just go on easy mode. What I wanted to do in this case was one, switch, and the other is get, get better at it uh, and be more efficient. I didn't want to just be super fast moving around. And I think that's one of the negative points I would say about this game. Sometimes it's just crazy that you can't stop clicking and just everything starts hurting. <laughs> so uh, my recommendation, if especially if you're trying to switch for the Y inverted, just go with the 
with the easy mode or even custom and just take it easy because it's it what you're trying to do is just change your uh, model about how you move your mouse and how does that translate to movement on the screen or on your character. So on this journey about switching, I found one particular issue uh, when going back to this guy. And the problem with this is that now I find it harder to wrap my head around about having it on the opposite way as I do on PC. So now I'm just terrible on console. Uh, and I still haven't found a way to get better at it now because also I'm playing the same game Battlefield on both platforms and now that I got used to PC it feels more it feels more uh, faster. So when I go back to this it's just so so slow and I keep making mistakes about up and down because the switching on the PC. So yeah, just heads up, if you try this, um, maybe you'll have these sort of issues uh, in the end. I just fi find funny that how the brain can get uh, just this plasticity to change from one thing to the other. And then when you go back to uh, console in this case coming from PC it's just messed up and <laughs> it can figure it out so thank you for watching thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you don't let me know if you like to play inverted or not if that's because you come from playing in the 90s and you get used to that like I did do you ever felt like you could do better by switching and also if you find this video interesting just let me know I think I had one thing in mind for this video. I wanted to talk a lot too much about um, historical reasons about the inverted, but then I found myself like trying to do too much uh, in one video that might not be that interesting. I think I think I went too far, and then I I just started to simplify and just make this short video uh, instead of that long video that it's not going to be worth it. So, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to say that because I've been receiving some messages uh, from you guys, like people that is asking me questions on the chat, people that is asking me when I'm going to make another video, things like that, and I'm just, I, I, I never expected something like this uh, to happen because when I uploaded the first Hackintosh, I just thought nobody would watch it. Like, I I just thought, yeah, nobody will find it anyway because I didn't do any promotion. So I think now has like 3,000 uh, views, which is amazing. <laughs> I never expected that. But I also see that people is just not subscribing the same way you would think. So yeah, I just, no, I just, um, I want to make more videos, uh, but for different reasons, I couldn't do them uh, until now. So, and I also have like ideas, but then as I saw on this one, I just kept it for too long. Like I tried to, to say too many things when I think it's not that important. So just, <laughs> just bear with, me, bear with me, just bear with me. And yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one.